Portland Place Earth thing. Uh, this is Amanda. This is Kat. And tonight we're gonna make you sick. Yes. Uh, that may sound uh, uh, hyperbolic, but our goal for this evening is to make you sick. So if you do not want to be sick, you should watch something else, and we totally understand. Uh, there's gonna be gross stuff. There's gonna be more gross stuff. There's gonna be disorienting camera work and more gross things. So. Moving forward, please welcome Like Hi Guy! And the ever present Andrew. Andrew. Looming over us every episode. Andrew! Um, so, I think we should kick this off with our grossest stories. What do you say, gang? <laughs> yeah! Alright! Alright! I don't think we get a say. Welcome to the show. Hi, Kaika. What's a gross story you have? You want me to start you off easy? No. Or just, okay. Whatever you want, go. <clears throat> Let's see. Two weeks ago, I had just finished drinking with my friends. About four or five hours of drinking. I get on the bus. I have nothing to protect myself. So I throw up in my mouth. Oh, and I just keep no. it there for 30 minutes. Oh no. Just riding the just, bus. Yep. And every few minutes, a <laughs> little bit more. A ah. little bit more. When I finally spit it out, it was just this one hard, chunky ball. Oh. Ah. You know what, you know, uh, related to vomit, my favorite thing to vomit, cold milk. Feels, but, feels good. Wait, so when it goes down, oh. It's, it's cold. cold, and then you immediately throw it back up because you're sick and you drink milk far too fast. It's still cold. That's that's happened to me. <laughs> so, so it soothes that burn. Yeah. So like you really don't. And it's 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 cold. It numbs the acid business that's happening. Just comes back up that quickly. You're like, ah, oh, I have a fever. I don't feel good. Cold milk. Cold milk sounds chug so like good. a whole glass. Just chug it down. Oh no, Blah. Blah. Yeah, it's the best I, thing to throw up. I admire your perseverance in holding it in your mouth for your bus ride. My neighbor was. I found this out right as I was leaving. My neighbor was sitting only four seats away from me and watched the whole thing. Oh, uh, no! I, on a side note, I have been nauseous while I was driving, and I had to think about where I would puke in my car as I was driving. <laughs> <laughs> Number one choice is always purse. Oh, uh, wash it. You can wash it, but, wash like, it. car is hard to wash. I was like, glove box? Out the window, you can do sort of all down the side. Unless you crash. Unless you stop. Yeah, unless you crash, because it's hard to do that while you're driving. Do it at a red light. And then you just and then, you just down. Bleh, bleh, and then the car up. next to you is horrified. Yeah. <laughs> horrified. They like, are. What do you want but me? the outside of the car again is easier to walk. <laughs> true. Yeah, true. Yeah. Ladies, but as you drive it just spatters. <laughs> Ladies always have a, have a purse, so it's just like, yeah. Right, but it's full of stuff. Like, do you keep an empty oh, pouch in the purse? He's slightly judgy. I am totally judgy. <laughs> I probably pick a pocket in the purse. I say this yeah, as someone I who... I probably pick a pocket in the purse. As someone who routinely has stuff pulled out of purses and handed to them, I would like to think that at one point you hadn't filled the compartment where the money and credit cards are now with vomit. I mean... And wallet. fished them out. These are just as disgusting as anything else. I don't puke in my wallet. It's, it's where would small. you puke if you small. had no place to yeah, puke? Yeah, where would you puke? Well, there's always a place. Yeah, a purse. What if out the window. 
What if you're on the bus mm -hmm. and it has the overhead windows mm -hmm. so you can't like slide it open and there's no garbage can? Pull the stop. Uh -huh. When it stop stops. Stop is still going for a while. Well, it's not going for a half you're, hour. You're already, do you think you could hold back a puke for half an hour? Me? Well, I could now. Back in my day? What? Well, I can't throw up anymore. Oh. Is it because of the valve business in yeah. your tum-tum? Tell us about it in graphic detail. Well, it's fantastically boring now. I eroded the valve between my stomach and my esophagus. So I would hit a point where I would throw up even my own spit, like seconds after swallowing it. And they cut me open, turned it into a drop valve. So it's one way at this point. So. Oh. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> Like questions? Uh, questions? Yeah, like, it, it, it seems fairly straightforward. I, you know what? I'm sad that they didn't just make, put like a medical, like a, like a mechanical valve. I wanted a little bit that they I'm, just. I'm sad it's not one of those garbage cans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, <laughs> you just like, <laughs> you just push out something in your body and it goes down. Um, I'm going to pick, uh, uh, which, which story? I have five stories here that are pretty disgusting. Pick number three. Pick number three. Well, I, you I already should, said that. Uh, it's the cold milk vomit. Oh. Um, so technically I already, um, uh, human feces foot. Human feces foot. All right, kids, let's dive into it. It's not that long. I used to work at an adult foster care home. There was a man who had, uh, he had to basically hold on to a walker so that you could change his diaper. And I'm talking like full grown, like in his 70s, 80s even. Um, big diaper, almost always had very, very messy shits. So um, I'm changing his diaper and I, I'm not barefoot entirely. I just have socks on, but it turns out that the new medication they put him on really gummed up the work. So uh, when I opened his diaper, it just all cascaded upon my foot. Um, those socks were garbage, um, and I cleaned my foot, but I was very professional, and I just took care of business, got them all worked up, didn't make him feel gross, because that's not fair. I'm not going to do that to a person. It's not his fault. Um, but yes, I had a, a very, very sloppy, like, 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 uh, sloppy Joe. Like, yeah, I was going to say, it's like, sloppy Joe. stew consistency, just, yeah, 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 like, yeah. sloshing just, around. Just, like, it, Giant looked, it looked like ground beef from Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Complete with, with like a little bit a too little much bit sauce. With, like, a little bit of beans. With, like, a little bit of beans to thicken it up. Too, like, joy too much sauce. <laughs> like, too much sauce. Too much sauce. Like, they just, too many packets of fire sauce, and yeah, they're like, yeah. no, we're just done. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have um, to say, I love the romantic and poetic way you formed this story. <laughs> it means a lot to her. I, I care. I care cascade. about gross things. You didn't I, say it just spill. It cascaded. Cascaded. It, it, that's really what it was. It wasn't just like a little bit. It was like, oh. <laughs> uh, so it was, it was, you know. Like, like a flowing shower. At a wedding. <laughs> as soon as it's it was on book, it just. <laughs> okay. uh, do you have a gross story, Amanda? No. <laughs> I don't. Uh, how about you, like Kaika? You got another gross story? Is Andrew not gonna turn? Oh, well, he told about his valves. Oh, that's true. So it's back to you. Because I know in his stomach. Um, one. Well, as you know, I was a preschool teacher before you detained me. <laughs> um, and one of my groups were infants. Um, one time, one student whose name I will not disclose on oh, sure. public access, yeah. um, I was changing their diaper and they're starting to do stand up changes because they're a big kid now. Mm -hmm. Took the diaper off, all this diarrhea. Oh. Um, so I really wanted to encourage him to continue standing. Mm -hmm. um, instead, he decides to sit on my leg. Oh, no. oh. So I get him up. I try to cl start cleaning it off, you know, using little wipes and whatever the fuck I have around me. And then he gets upset because I stood him back up, and he decides to get a handful of it and try and throw it at me. Like oh. a monkey! Like a monkey! Jesus fucking like Christ! Non -human you know who I'm talking about. Do I? Oh, this is like an Wait. inside joke that should the be The little well, poet? I mean, I'm sure I know the child, but I don't know that I know the child. 
Okay, let's not do this. I, I'll, I'll figure it out <laughs> later, guys. I have, might be I talking have about your husband. But it's not that gross. I, tell, I just thought about it. I, please tell me about your gross story. I was talking to Please try to take part. <laughs> yeah, about, well, because I didn't come from there. <laughs> I actually didn't. Um, I was talking to somebody about this far apart, and right. I was drinking water at the time, and it went down the wrong pipe, and I just coughed water. <laughs> <laughs> and they're oh, they were so not happy about that. Ooh. That's not really that gross, but <laughs> Cats, because she has a list, a laundry list yeah. of gross oh, and, and I, I can take turns here. I mean, I do work at a gas station. Yeah, so you do uh, see some stuff. Um, and okay. sadly, most of it also involves the bathroom there. <laughs> uh, unsurprisingly, people like to use our restroom. It is free. Uh, and it is not about the poop on the walls. That's almost commonplace at this point. It's not about the blood on the walls. I don't know what you women are up to with that one. Uh, I had some gentlemen. <laughs> I do not know what problem he was facing. I wish him well, whatever it was. But when I had to unclog the toilet after him, it was a solid layer of poop, well-used paper, more poop, paper, poop, paper, poop, paper, oh. lasagna from the bottom of the toilet <laughs> to the top. Oh. Like, lasagna. Just to steal a joke, like a like a poop veneta. What's a Veneta? Never mind. Lasagna. Lasagna. Oh, oh lasagna. mic down. Lasagna. Sorry, Jacob. Lasagna. Poop. Poop lasagna. Just like that, like sandstone rock that you can see the layers of. Just you can see this man's time. Aww. So it's like poop. It's like sedentary rock. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's what it's called. And then it's the I'm hoping it was one person. <laughs> I suppose it's always possible it was multiple and we just didn't catch it. Was the poop different colors by layers? First of all, how did you cut into it like it was a cake <laughs> to see all these layers? Because the plunger had to get to the hole to okay. get the mechanism working. So it had to be that hole like in, 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 and down. Oh, it was just filled up the bowl. Oh. Uh. Everybody at home, picture a layer cake of poop, yes. toilet paper, poop, they toilet They had paper, managed to the drain the bowl while creating their lasagna. Oh. That's actually maybe really uh, You haven't out. answered my question, Were all, was all the poop the same color? Um, I didn't study it closely enough. Like You asked me this question, as I think back, I did not study it enough to retain that detail. Chucks. Uh, all I know is I'm on the night crew and I walked into it. My day crew were like, we don't know what to do about it. And it's like, you, you get a plunger and you solve the problem. What's like confusing. it's, yeah, no, it's, but it's poop. Yeah, and it's what, it, is it on the wall? Then what what's the problem? Too? Wear gloves and a mask. Yeah, you're not Catholic. It's not concentrated evil coming out so, of your ass. It's poop. Yeah, beautiful stories, you guys. Uh, do you want to pick the next story? Like, like Heiko, would you like to pick the next, next story? story. Ooh. She told go, uh, cold milk and she told human feces already. This one is my mother's biggest fear, so I'd like to do it to her. Uh-huh. Uh, maggot drawer. Uh -huh. Maggot drawer. I witnessed a maggot drawer. Yes. Oh, All right. So here we go. You sound uh, way too excited. Because I know what it Tony is. Tony and I <laughs> went on a trip somewhere. Um, and when we came back, turns out that we had just closed the drawer um, that we'd put like a plate of some sort of chicken uh, inside the drawer, Close the drawer, did not notice it, closed the drawer, came back from our trip, and the entire drawer was full of maggots. The whole thing. So I took the dust buster and I just busted up all them maggots and they were just swirling around, having a great time, I assume. And then we threw them away in the compost where they wanted to be. So just, that's maggot drawer. Just the like little vacuum just filled that's with beautiful. maggots crawling <laughs> around. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking great. Oh, and we have a really shitty dust buster, so we had to recharge it and then go back. Halfway <laughs> through? Yeah, go back to it. Because it lasts for like two minutes and then it's done. Um, so that's maggot drawer. 
Yay. 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 Beautiful. Uh, Excuse me. Excuse me. What? Yes? I have a story. Oh. Okay. I have a story too, but I want you to choose. Oh. Do you want a story that's a little bit cute or a little bit fascinating? Which one's grosser? Um, it's a good question. <laughs> I'm asking the questions right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Welcome, Jacob. One's from when I was seven. One's from when I was about 20. Um, let's go with the 20. Okay. So one day... I don't know which one it is. <laughs> this is the fascinating one. Okay, so one day I was I was almost late for work and I the toilet overflowed, spilling pee and poop all over the bathroom floor and I had to leave for work right away. Someone was picking me up, so I just threw a bunch of towels on it and went to work, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you do. Mm -hmm. I got home, I put the towel. <laughs> <laughs> I got home, I put the towels in a garbage bag. Mm -hmm. I put that garbage bag two feet away, still in the bathroom, mm -hmm. and left it there. For I months, months, many months. Oh, no. Uh, no. Why? I, 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 I should have just left it there for the rest of my life because <laughs> one day I opened it up. I, I, Why did you open it? Uh, no, it was. I needed, I needed a towel. <laughs> All of your towels? Yeah. That's the wrong well, towel. this is a time in my life when I would run out of dishes and eat cereal out of a Pyrex baking dish with a slotted spoon, you know, so. Uh, <laughs> so not a proud time no. in your life. So I opened up the garbage bag, and lo and behold, the towels were covered with translucent yellow mushrooms. Oh, God, don't what? eat them. Don't I, eat them. I think that it might have been a new species of mushroom, but I threw them away. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. I just want to go home and Google poop mushrooms. Yeah. yeah. So does that make Jacob a mother? Oh, <laughs> So cute. Uh, keeping in the theme of choosing between one of two things, mm -hmm. uh, I have a challenge for you guys. Spill it. Okay, I want you to decide which of two words is grosser, and I want you to do that several times in a row. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Is it all of us? Yeah. Or is it just you all can of debate. Us. You can. <laughs> all of us. I'm can, just responding. Yeah, yeah, you're the one that's running this now. <laughs> Nobody responds. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Andrew is yeah. the answer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure, I'm in. <laughs> okay. So let's kick things off. All right. This is a, this is a classic, the perennial favorite, moist. Not Everybody good. hates moist, no. but I like it. is moist grosser than juicy? No. You think juicy is grosser? I don't think either one is gross. But I mean, if we have to pick one. You don't think moist is gross? I agree. Right. I don't think moist is gross over either. Over and over again. Because it's really for the audience who so juicy, have problems. Juicy, Can you juicy, 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 juicy moist, moist. 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 Can you restate it more um, seductively? Yeah. Moist. There you moist? go. Moist? Really hear that s moist? No, it's the oist. Moist? It's the oist. Moist? Oist. Moist? Juicy. Moist? Juicy. Moist? Juicy. 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 <laughs> Them strawberries look juicy. juicy. Those peaches look <laughs> juicy. Yeah, I think juicy is grosser than moist. All right, yeah, I, I agree. agree. I say moist. Juicy. Okay. Okay, we got okay. one moist. Juicy, juicy. Lakaika <laughs> agrees with uh, almost everybody in all in our society. I would, wow. in the way that we're using it here, I'd be leaning towards juicy. That case cake was. Moist. All right, we beat society, guys. Yay! Yay. Society's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Juicy's the worst word. All right, number two. I think it's because society has ruined juicy. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like the cake is moist, but when we think juicy, we're now thinking some of the trashiest people around. That's but say it across the All right, keeping it judgmental. Yeah. 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 <laughs> next uh, next one. Milky or spongy? Um, I think milk is gross. Milky, 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 milky. Spongy. Spongy or milky. Spongy. Okay, so okay, mm. let me interject with instead of saying milk, say milk. Milky, milky, <laughs> milky, 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 milky. milk. That makes me think of mm. perfect strangers. Balky, 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 balky. balky, balky, balky. balky. Uh, Seinfeld had a thing with the sponge. Yeah. Sponge. Sponge worthy? Sponge I've never worthy? seen Sp Seinfeld, so. I feel yeah. like, I feel. Could I mean, you use both words in a pickup line, Jacob? Milk. I vote milk. Milky? Um, milky. 
No, I would, I would like to what hear a response to what Andrew asked. Oh, I'm sorry. What was the question? Could you use both words in a pickup line so we can compare them? Wait, use both words in one pickup line? Well, yes. <laughs> you, <laughs> yes, if you could, but use them in separate pickup lines um, so we can compare their use. All right, uh, let's try this. Uh, hey, there. Uh, <laughs> Solid, starting off strong. <laughs> hey there. Oh, hey. Oh. Is is your is your but is your bone tissue spongy? <laughs> or, or am oh, I just milky? Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> you mean like rickets? Soft like rickets or milky like? <laughs> oh, I like it. Is cataracts making my eyes milky or your bones just spongy? Like rickets. I like where you're oh. going with that. Does that help? Is that as yeah. yeah. spongy? Because I got I'll go milky with spongy. Cum. Oh, Ew. <laughs> Andrews for spongy. Well, like, um, for spongy. Cat, what Cat just Cat? stepped it up. Yeah, Cat just. Wait, what did you say, Cat? I said, is that ass spongy? Because I got milky cum. Don't repeat it. <laughs> no, repeat it again. <laughs> no. Slower. No, 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 no. Dang. No, 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 Would it no, help? No, 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 no. Because I got milky cum. <laughs> All right, Cat has made a strong case for milky. <laughs> we'll call it a strong tie. All right, All right. Yeah. strong case right. for milky. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Okay, I gotta make it a good one. Um, <laughs> I have a whole lot. I got like thirty. <laughs> um, how about? Oh shit. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, we'll do this one. Fistula or pupation. I think pupation sounds grosser. Pupation? But I have been reading a lot of stuff about parasites, so I just, Can I'm like, the pupae just falls out. That's the end result of almost everything. Can you use them in a pickup line? Uh, can you can you say the first one again? Yeah. Fistula. Fistula. I'm going to admit, I don't know what fistula means. You found a word I don't know. Oh, shit. It oh. makes me think of a vampire that uses punches. <laughs> I was thinking more like... Yeah, fisting. Right, Absolutely yeah. That, that's fisting. how you get the blood, like a vampire that punches. It's fistula. Mm. So it like goes in, grabs, <laughs> gets some blood, and like... No, no, no. It's, it, it, it's got piercing teeth in, on its, oh, on its so. fingertips. Oh, right, on the fingertips. So you fist in and... And then... And then Amanda, join in. No. Well, <laughs> if, if, if it helps you decide a fistula, if I'm, if I'm right, is something like uh, an abnormality between well, when a connection between two like organs is abnormal like a vein or like a sphincter is all messed up fistula abnormal opening or channel connecting two internal organs or leading from an internal organ to the outside nailed it <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, fistulas fistula are due to ulceration failure of a wound to heal injury tumors or uh, congenital defects oh, mm -hmm. yeah. or what, what was the was other one pupation pupation Fistula or pupation? And pupation is when the pupa's just falling out? I don't know. Um, or it's just when you're puping. <laughs> <laughs> just when you're, when you're puping. Uh, it's not, it's not in it's here. Not in there? Unless I'm spelling it wrong. P-U-P. P-U-P. P-U-P? P -U -P. Yeah, it's not in P -U -P. here. P-U-P. Well, it's just when a, a, a bug is Something oh. happens with a pupa. Oh, it that's is, why it it's is, not it's in exactly that. It the just falls out. Medical. Um, yeah, I don't think it's a medical term. No. Um. I uh, all of my pickup lines—they're not as good as the spongy ass. That's so true. I really I, I like the. Let's leave I that. think pupation is my my go-to for the grosser one. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Yes. So like. Ooh, is that perspiration? <laughs> Stop. Hey, I want to make you pupate. I want to make you pupate. That baby. <laughs> <laughs> I got a laugh from the booth. <laughs> okay, I think. Are pupate. you into fistuling? <laughs> nope. Okay, <laughs> pupate. Pupate, that pupate that I am. <laughs> uh, so. That uh, one. Okay, we're spending too well, much time. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for uh, interrupting our show You're with welcome. more grossness. Um, <laughs> now, let's get back to the obviously. Highly organized and thought out <laughs> next uh, section. You see, 
Uh, do, Amanda, do you want to explain no, you this? Go, okay. Oh, I'll explain it, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, there's a lot of things in this world that are pretty gross, mm -hmm. and we're going to go back and forth and tell you about them. I think the that body. explained that better. We're ashamed best. to have them. Um, Kat, go ahead and start off with your first fun thing <laughs> that is pretty gross. <laughs> Welcome to Portland Place or Thing. <laughs> Did we say the name of the show? Yeah, I said it at the oh, earlier, okay, cool. at the earlier, whatever. Awesome. All right. <clears throat> So what I did is I just went through parasites. So I have five parasites that I've written different, different things for. Um, this first one is uh, 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 if you guys like eating raw-ish fish, just think about this little booger. The 90s hair of NSYNC's Justin Timberlake curled up in a fish with the mouth parts of a blow-up doll. It's the Anasakis. AKA sushi worms. This parasite. <laughs> this parasite can be found in your raw or rawish fish if it is improperly processed before being served. That's why it needs to be frozen. These wriggling rice and noodle looking motherfuckers go from crustacean to fish to you. Whatever or whatever mammal peaks the food chain. Once inside, they attempt to burrow through your intestinal walls, but they fail because we're humans and we're tough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in doing so, they, they start doing it and then they die, but uh, they throw their host into agonizing abdominal pain as the immune system rushes to buffer it from everything else and in turn also blocking the digestive system. Um, and so even if that gets all worked out, they've already laid their eggs. So now you have larva to deal with. And there are two options. One, it reaches the bowels or the big intestine, large intestine, uh, beefy intestine. <laughs> uh, and uh, the host gets to have two, one to two weeks of Crohn's disease symptoms. Hey! Um, otherwise, and this is actually the best case scenario, you just vomit up all the larvae. Ooh. That is the Anasakis or sushi worm. <laughs> that's great. That's the that's a human parasite. Well, I'm not a human parasite, but it's okay. a parasite. I have a weird medical word if you guys want to learn about more weird medical things. We do. Uh, all right. You learned about rickets earlier. What's rickets, guys? Soft bones. Yes, bones Apparently when your yes. bones get spongy <laughs> and supple like that ass. Ah, milky. Do you guys know what dehiscence means? Oh, oh. I do, and I don't want to say it. Dehiscence. <gasps> dehiscence. Uh, oh. it's, the, it's when you have surgery and the surgical site opens after it's supposed to not open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what that's called. Uh, wound ruptures along a surgical incis incision. Like it's like it's letting out air. <laughs> oh, they just called it a complication when it happened to me. No, that's the method. So on your chart, they'll it's write that. <laughs> that's Fair enough. That's where you got to get re-stapled. They just told me, it. minor complication after your surgery. Huh. Yeah, yeah. No need to... Worry. That's right. Oops. You got another, you got um, another one? Ooh, can you help me say that word? Um, or, orchalgia. It's Gee. pain in the testes. <laughs> pain, pain in, in the, the testes. testes. Okay, pain in, in the, the testes. testes. What? <laughs> I mean, the, the end. end. <laughs> that's it, that's the whole song. Orifice. Orifice. Orifice, go ahead, Cap. All right, this one's uh, my more <clears throat> dramatic reading. <clears throat> My mother captures a mosquito and secures her eggs to the mosquito's body, keeping it alive to deliver me the bubble baby bot fly. <laughs> bubble baby bot fly, <laughs> bubble baby bot, bot fly. <laughs> As the mosquito latches onto a human to devour its syrupy life force, I, in my egg, react to the warm blooded temperature change and hatch. As a prickly little larvae, I travel into the newly formed wound, or if there's like a hair follicle, I'll also just go in that to settle into my new human nursery. Extra lucky hosts experience me crossing that delicious blood-brain barrier. I attach my prickly posterior to the opening so I can breathe out my butt. <laughs> uh, my gracious host's immune system begins buffering around me to swell to upsetting proportions, which becomes my full-time buffet. 
for about five to 12 weeks until I am ready to fall out or cupulate Ooh. and become a bumblebee-like butt fly with no mouth parts. I am Dermatobia hominis, probably, AKA the human butt fly. Pew, 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 How does it fall out Baby. if it's crossed a blood-brain barrier? It literally, because it remember its butt is breathing? Its butt so attaches so it's like flush to the skin. Like shimmies out? It shimmies, yeah, yeah, basically well, just it's like. Well, it's the blood-brain barrier, meaning it's inside your skull. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they're long. They're long enough to, I don't know. She's not the bot fly I, 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 no, I did research but, but She's the one who did the research. Guys, guys. I read like four things. Okay. I skipped okay. like four things. Rectocil, right. protrusion of the rectum and often part of the posterior wall of the vagina. Oh. It occurs when pelvic muscles have been weakened by childbirth, surgery, or other factors. Oh, so it's probably pretty normal. Yeah, it's basically like a prolapse. Uh, prolapses are not fun to look at. Mm -mm. No. Or fun to feel. Mm -mm. Uh, or having a gas station bathroom. Or have, you know, I had a puppy who uh, oh. prolapsed and I had to put it down. I had her for like a few weeks and then all of a sudden stuff was like, herself was coming out of her butt. And I was all like, what's wrong with my puppy? The first puppy I've ever had. Oh my God. Yeah. Wait, like they couldn't, you took it to the vet or did you guys just like? We couldn't afford to like actually fix it. So they just put it down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just Most like push solve it back the problem. Yeah, usually you would like. Get the plunger. I think they, I think they, I think they tried to do that and it just happened again. Yeah, and they were like, I can't. It. Yeah, we, we weren't rich. We just put puppy down. So fun We got fact, puppy for free. It happens in uh, sheep a lot too. <laughs> like oh. if it rains too much. What? What? Prolapse? Why? I don't know if this is true. I had a bunch of 4-H friends. <laughs> so damp sheep have their butt fall out? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's see. It seems like an overreaction. Prolapse. And this is a fun fact about being in 4-H. Like, join 4-H, sheep butts on the ground. Yeah. Oh. Also, sheep it's butt. not like their like, whole, like, like, hangs out of their butt like this. Yeah, it's, it's just like, like a little, a little bit, like. Peri perinatal is not. Mm, periwinkle. That's Peri just the color I know. This is more fun than looking at this. Okay, degloving. Oh no. Is oh. a injury <laughs> is a type of. <laughs> uh, it's where um, avulsion in which an extensive section of the skin is completely torn off the underlying tissue, severing its blood supply. Its name is an analogy to the process of removing a glove. Uh. So whatever sick fuck came up with that name uh, probably saw like this glove action happening as an actual wound. Probably awesome. not on like what's happening on camera behind us. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's knee surgery for you guys. Oh. Um, Duodenum. Oh, Duodenum. Yep. Duodenum. Thank you. Duodenum is what the thing that makes you be like, oh, I gotta pee. Okay, there's something in here yeah. called uh, just to interrupt dumping syndrome. <laughs> Group of symptoms including nausea, dizziness, sweating, and faintness occurring after a meal, particularly a rich meal in carbohydrates. Patients who have had stomach surgery, it is due to too rapid, rapid emptying of the stomach contents and the develop, development of low sugar levels in the blood. Dumping syndrome. Dumping syndrome. So would like a street name be the shits? Yeah. 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 I got this dumping syndrome. Um. Okay. This one's, uh, this is my, all my things coming up now are going to be shorter. Um, this it. is my final uh, parasite for humans. Whoever said you had to be rotting to be maggot food? Well, they were fucking wrong. Introducing, oh shit. Introducing, <laughs> I forgot to change it. Uh, cochleomia hominivorax. Or, in its larval state, the screw worm. These little <laughs> drillers come from eggs laid in the warm, living tissue of an open wound, including, but not limited to, the, the freshly cut navel of a newborn. Oh. Once hatched, the larvae eat away at the healthy flesh, burrowing ever deeper. If they are disturbed by, like, say, trying to remove them. 
So the moment that you start trying to take them out, they're like, fuck no, and they just go deeper into your body. Like a tick. Yeah. And then, you know, at some point they pupate and just fall out. All of the things were just all like, and then they pupate and fall out. On the ground. They're all on the ground. <laughs> I don't know why. Close up on our feet! <laughs> They're all on the ground! Yeah! All right, no worries. It, you guys tried. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. Uh, what's, uh... Oh, you got, you got some <laughs> that was it. Word. Yeah, that, it was a really, that it was a really was, short one. That was literally. Do you guys, do you guys, um, Andrew or like Heika, do you know any gross words? No. 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 Gross words? To, you guys live no, pretty much a non-gross <laughs> lifestyle. I don't <laughs> human beings and work with like. kids. I know. Right, and that's a large part of it is we don't gross out easily, so it's hard for like what grosses you out. Um, this isn't about you being gross. Right, no, but when you try to think of things that are gross, you have to parse it through your own filters first. I got a good story if you want that. Yeah, give us another story. It's like all this action. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let them organize their notes so, and we'll talk. Um, little itty bitty kid, about two years old. He's not feeling well. He's all hot, sweaty. He's had a rough day. I decided to pick him up and help him feel better after I called his mom and let her know. Oh, yeah. um, I'm telling him it's okay, you're okay, buddy. And then he throws up, oh, like, yeah. probably this much all over me. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, wow, okay. It's okay, you're okay. Still trying to help him feel better. He throws up again. This time it goes into my pockets and down my <laughs> shirt. Save it for later. I'm like, oh God, bud, okay, just, you already got me, let it all out. So he throws up a third time. This time it gets into my shoes in my other pocket, covers my phone, a <laughs> little bit gets into my underwear, and I'm just completely drenched. At this point, I try and help him into the bathroom, get him cleaned off, dripping with vomit. And then one of my bosses come by and they're like, are you okay in here? We heard weird noises. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Um, can I go home and change? And she's like, yeah, why? Looks at me, realizes I'm covered with vomit that's dripping on the floor. Um, I don't care about my clothes anymore, so I spray myself with bleach and then I ride the Max home, dripping with vomit. Yeah. Party Max, party Max, party Max. Everybody party stayed a card away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Joys um, of I public just, transportation. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say this, uh, there's a thing in here called Port Wine Stain, and it's a- uh, That's just you, club soda. <laughs> well, just you get can't get this out with club soda. It's a flat birthmark, varying from pale pinkish red to deep pur purple. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Hair lip. Oh, <laughs> hair lip, hair lip. Okay, that, that was, was my dad's joke. Uh, <laughs> would you, uh, all right, I'm gonna sing a song. Are you guys ready? Yep. Our this. musical guest tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm the musical guest. I have one song. Uh, this is about. Well, you'll find out. <laughs> Cut a river. All right, kind of got it. Uh, <laughs> I'm some. Oh, I'm Simothoa Exiguia. I climb inside a fish. I sever off their tongue. That and I use my achy muscles to attach me to the stub. So check your fishy's mouth on all your fish abouts to see my smiling face and creep you the fuck out. Simothoa Exiguia. The conscious tongue. Cool. That Yay. was really good. Oh. Thanks. That's my, that's my song about that. Uh, you've probably seen it. It's just a little fish and there's like a little guy. Oh, Instead of a tongue, he's got, it's a little guy. There's another uh, face inside his mouth. That's song about that guy. A little crustacean looking guy. Yeah, yeah. He's like, and if you, if you try to take him out, it'll bite you. But he does, other than that, they're like, they're yeah. <laughs> so I have a story to buy some time with if you want. Uh, we love buying time stories as long as they're gross. I will try. 
So some time ago, before the ACA kicked in, I was working my job that does not pay me enough to have insurance. And I had developed a blood flow issue in my leg. And I learned a valuable lesson from this, which is nobody cares. Uh, doctors don't care unless you pay them, and the ER doesn't care unless they're cutting your leg off. So over the course of months, the front of my shin died and then began to rot and fall away. Uh, I ended up with a hole in my leg large enough that I could fit change. I could fit a quarter in it. And it was just an open wound that had slowly died and fallen out. Can we see this? Well, it's no longer that large. It is now... I have since had some healing done on it. If you want to aim a camera down. <laughs> that hole in the middle, that gray <laughs> spot, is what it. used to be <laughs> used to be a full-blown hole. The rest of it is the area that was dead and has started to heal over since then. It looks like a port wine stain. It does. it does look like a port wine stain now. And that is as good as it's getting at this point. Your Yay. socks are really tight. My socks are really tight. These are my worst pair of socks. Whoa. I wear them here to keep me awake. <laughs> Get, have another blood clot. No. Oh, no, it's not. Well, it wasn't a clot. It was just, I'm a fat man. <laughs> and I went from uh, working a desk job to working on my feet. So, but fortunately, um, the ACA kicked in before they had to take my leg off. Uh, the doctor I was talking to estimated I had two to three months before that would have occurred, which is when they would have cared. So it's kind of disturbing on multiple levels. One, giant hole in my leg to the inability to get help in our society until they're ready to simply remove the limb. Mm -hmm. Also disgusting. Very disgusting Most in its disgusting own way. disgusting part of this episode. Yeah. yeah. I agree. That's my ear, you guys. What? Uh, <laughs> I got one more thing. Do you have any more medical nope. biz? Nope. All right. I have one more thing. Um, now, I wanted to get like down and dirty and let you know about the human, the parasites that affect humans. Uh, and I wanted some fun things for the parasites that affect other things because, you know, we're more important. So, uh, <laughs> don't write in. Uh, or, or write in because... Uh, we don't know who watches the show. We, yeah. Oh, wait. Is that a call to action? Oh, shit. Uh, don't write don't in. Don't write in. Is that a call to action? <laughs> oh, shit. A call to inaction? Oh, fuck. Okay, go. All right. Call to apathy. Just, <laughs> call to apathy. Should you ever watch the show? We'd, we'd appreciate it if somebody wrote it. <laughs> think, I mean, think strongly about whether you would or would not, <laughs> but do not allow anything we say to sway your choice on that action. Correct. We're not calling you to do either. We are on the internet. <laughs> Got, allow your own passions to guide you. Are you allowed to say you are able to? Um, sure. Just go, do the, just go do this the This is my nine part haiku. <laughs> That's why I wanted to do the bit. <laughs> nine parts. Nine part haiku about a parasite that only affects crabs, mostly green crabs. Just so everybody knows. Being female crab. Slug <laughs> hitchhiker finds soft joint. Push his way inside. No more molting now. Regeneration is done. Gonads stop being. Parasitic eggs replace crab's potential young. Hitchhiker hijack. Male larva arrives, enters pore of the egg sac. Eggs now fertilized. Crab finds laying rock, disperses eggs in the sea. Hitchhiker offspring. Being a male crab, slug hitchhiker finds soft joint, pushes way inside, no more molting now, regeneration is done, gonads stop being. Male crab, now female, courting dances and all, lays eggs just the same. I take over crabs, I crab hacker barnacle. Hijacker, nope, hitchhiker, hijinks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Thanks, everybody. Okay, so <coughs> we have, we're like running out of time. We haven't even done oh. your bone cracking. Oh, right. 
Who wants to hear me crack some bones? Everybody? Yeah, Great. Yeah. Everybody does. Okay, Kat, <laughs> Kat can crack her bones in a lot of places. A lot of ways. All right, let's start. Let's start a little slow. This is fingers and hand. For some reason, the cameraman is on his cell phone and not on yeah, the camera. Yeah, Dave. Shit, man. Love you. All right. Let's see if we got any. Nope, no wrist biz. Let's see if we got any elbow. Yeah, a little. There Ooh, you go. That was for you guys. Okay, wait. So fingers was like five fingers? Ten All, fingers? Five. Well, multiple knuckles in each one. I just tend to go real fast because okay. I do it a lot. Stop it. Um, <laughs> let's, Watching it let's, get, uh, let's get a little toe action. There it is. Nice. I could look up in my medical dictionary why this is. I thought it there had it to do with the bubbles yes. and cartilage. Right. And, and it uh, sounds like she has a condition. <laughs> All right, <laughs> how do I get this? Get the, get the back. Kay. Ready? Yeah. I'm going to fling. Oh, that was a cord. Okay, we're not going to do that. Right. Now it's going to be neck. Okay. Ready? I'll hold the microphone box just in case. And finally, yeah. this oh. is not exactly cracking, but uh, I can do this with. God damn it! I can. I can. <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. I can do, I can do this <laughs> Sorry, with my, with my, uh, with my shoulder because I fucked it up when I was little. Oh, can you hear that? Can you see it? Can you hear it? See it and hear it. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. It's just a, a thing I can do. All right, Amanda, uh, do you want to let people know what's about to happen okay. now? Okay, okay, so this is the, uh, what is it called? Piece de resistance? Um, like Heike and I will be blindfolded. Uh, we are going to go through a bunch of sensory grossness things. Um, we're going to rub things on our hands that are gross. We're going to smell things on our noses. On our noses. <laughs> on smell our noses. things with our noses that are gross. And we're going to stick our feet into things that are also gross. Uh, I left the scarves in the other room. So we're going to close our eyes. <laughs> God damn it. Someone wants to run scarves in real um, quick. No, uh, we're too busy. Um, Guys, I want some fun camera shots here. Just some yeah. real fun. We got feet going on. We got hands going on. We got noses. Yeah, there you go, Dave. Let's like get it. real into it. Okay, look at this bag Let's of whatever Cat is. Let's get real into it. Let's get real. Okay. Hey, guys. Yes. Yeah. Can you mic the things? Yeah. Yeah. Nope, this one's grosser. You like that? You like that, internet? You like that? Okay. You okay, Amanda? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> all right. Okay, so we gotta close our eyes. Close your eyes. You see something? Be the facilitator of all this grossness. Look, look what's happening there. You'll be fine. It's fine. None of this is bad. It was green. And it's gonna get thrown away. We're not gonna eat it. Oh no, it was just green a bit ago. We're not gonna eat your toe. It was green a bit ago. Do you want me Did to hold anything? Green? Do we, are we doing this no. right now? This foot one it first. Was green. Well, close your eyes. Close your eyes. You gotta close them. You gotta close your eyes. I trust I'm that you're closing. I'm gonna put your feet into the bag. Okay. Yeah, pull up your pull up your pants. Pull up my pants. All right. Second foot going in the you bag. You might want to start pulling your pants up, look how I go. <gasps> It's cold. It's very cold. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Just get it real in there. Oh, I can smell it. What is this? It's like, it's lemonade. Stick oh. it. Oh. oh, it's like, is this the curdled one? Yep. Oh, it's all slick. Is this, were you trying to mimic snot? Yep. Yep. That's yeah, you nailed it. it. Thank God. Thank you. Let's all right, like Heike. Both this feet. Foot. Oh god. There you go. Oh, there you what go. the fuck is this? This is such a great foot. sound you're getting. <laughs> there you go. Really get in there. Really oh, work oh out. My god. Let me get that mic. Oh. I want to get this nice. Oh. Sound. oh, it's like crab oh, guts. Really like push your feet in. <laughs> um. I love this game. Okay. Can I stop? Oh god, if it's something I have to smell, I might get it. It is something you have to smell. Well, okay. Before that, you must both begin oh, rubbing your hands. Smell. Oh yeah. 
with the microfiber because it feels microfiber awful. fucking sucks all the time. <laughs> It gets caught Just keep on rubbing it. Any sort of nail. All right. Rough skin. We're gonna start. I'm so scared, Andrew. <laughs> We're gonna start with <laughs> this. It'll be okay, nice Amanda. Of this. You can trust Cat, right? <laughs> Look at that. I can't trust you, you either. Go. What have I ever done to you? Look at everything. That lovely, whatever it is. Not everything. Like I oh, got it you is. a little hiss. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 a little hiss. Okay, give that a little whiff. Track of time just to make How's sure that? we don't go over. How's that? How does that smell? <laughs> I don't want to smell it. <laughs> Amanda, <coughs> you're gonna smell this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not like the worst thing. Really? It's just particularly gross. This, oh, my oh, friend, oh. it's just like hot awesome. dogs. <laughs> it's hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Clearly Canadian, Mary Berry flavor, and uh, and the remnants of a cold pasta salad. Yeah, whatever's in the bag smells worse than that. <laughs> in the bag, it is glue, <laughs> oil, water, and lemon juice. What's in my bag? Your bag is faux noodles and coconut, coconut oil. oil. So it's not too bad. No. But right. it feels it gross, gross, doesn't it? I'm right. that one. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. It's all right. Open your eyes. We're going to go oh. to the towels. Okay. Go to your towels after I, yeah. Oh, my it. God. Wipe them we off. Just, you just moisturized. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's totally fine. Um, I'm going to give you guys each your own towel so you can Thank you. clean it off and be oh, real fresh good. for the next two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tony's particularly grossed out. I was thinking it felt like tapeworms. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know what to compare this to. All right, friends. It's kind of like um, keep those eyes shut. I think. Oh, well, not right now. Oh, okay. They can wipe off their. They can when wipe you off their. Scrape feet. out pumpkin guts. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got it on my jeans. Oh well. Okay. Let me know when you guys are ready okay. for the next batch. Okay. This will be you rubbing your hands with the microfiber, Do disgusting things at your feet. And two smells. No, the smells thing is what fucking gets me. <laughs> <laughs> the feet thing I thought would be grosser, but it wasn't as gross as I thought it was gonna be. All right. Here and we Andrew, go. how are let's we get this. Time? Let's get this wet. We're fine. Two and a half. We're good. Minutes. Yeah, get that sound. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Heavy. <laughs> heavy. All right. All right. Gonna put your feet. Right in there. It's a little warm. Get the. What is in this? It's all over. Right. What's it feel like? What does it feel like? It's okay. There's like little granulars of slick things in here that feel like they're kind of dissolving and or breaking as I push on them. One foot. I don't know. Oh no. Oh no. Lovely. You guys are doing great. These sounds over there work. Oh, absolutely. It feels like I'm stuffing a jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> give it, give us a little stomp. This actually feels kind of pleasurable. <laughs> this is the one that I was smelling. I was smelling something Ooh. earlier that was floral. That's the one you were I smelling. I don't like that. You don't like that? I don't like this feeling. <laughs> <laughs> the smell is fine. Does it feel like the bottom of a pond? Yeah. Yeah, that, I think that was the goal. Um, oh. Can you describe the, the actual smell? It's like the floral, sweet, and also slightly rotting at the same time. I kind of smell jello. That is jello. It is jello. <laughs> okay. Um, can you describe the smell some more? Mm, you just put something in front of my face. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Bitch, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, it's like sour. Uh, it's, it's sour mm. something. Mm -mm. Yeah, I put uh -oh. it real close to your lip. I no. didn't touch it. No. Didn't touch it. That is sweet potato oh. that's been sitting <sighs> in just water for a few days. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. I think mm -mm. the first smell smelled mm -mm. worse. First smell, first one smelled worse? Yeah. Can I, like, cool. blow it out of my nostrils? It lingers. She will uh. help you with this shortly. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Yeah, this is definitely a power. Who's giggling? <laughs> Giggling like uncontrollably. That's Dave. Dave, see what you see? Well, I don't know. 
Uh, this is the I'm nice palette cleanser. Sorry, time. Oh. <laughs> what does that smell like to you? Because I can give it a very, very specific name. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's been corked. You're okay. It's fine. Um, it just kind of hurts. Oh. So, you know when you, like, leave stuff in Tupperware uh -huh. in the kitchen sink for a really long time? Uh -huh. It smells like that. Mm hmm Like, Heike, what My would you say it smells like? <laughs> um. Oh, oh, that um, noise. Like, <laughs> that's a good noise. I'm done putting my feet in it, that after I, that smell. It smells like what I would imagine that oh, chicken smelled up. like in your drawer. <laughs> oh, the maggots? Oh, oh! That's why we got... What are you doing? <laughs> Dropping everything? Please don't drop it in wet no, stuff. No, I didn't. <laughs> right. It just dropped on the towel. We're Was oh, it the mic again? Okay. Yes. It just keeps Jesus. falling. It's fine. Like, can I open my um, that eyes is now? 56 minutes. That was rotting garlic. Okay. Mm. We're d are we at 56? We're at 56. And Amanda, I'm going to put you in charge. I'm going to gather the stuff. Yeah. If you will close us out. All oh, right. Okay. From this yeah. gross out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, oh. Place or thing. I'm Amanda. That's Kat, like Kaika, Andrew. This is Open Signal. Uh, I want a cigarette. Thank you, Tony on camera, Dave on camera. Um, Ross on Switcher. Marie is just someplace. If you uh, feel sick, go to the hospital. If you feel sick, go to the hospital. Um, Jacob on sound, thank you for those uh, gross words. Moist is not gross. Uh, anything else as we close out? Um, I, uh, uh, thank you to the audience. Thank you, audience. For, for All two of you. Putting, putting up with this. <laughs> Here's a nice tender. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> I know, it's on my pants! Oh, I love everyone, I love you! My dad and I used to watch open surgeries on mute during dinner. Nice. We would guess whatever, we'd try to guess what they were doing surgery on. And he told me one day that it was a penis, and he was glad that, that I didn't see it because it was a vasectomy. Oh, so it was like a whole floppy dick. It was a whole floppy dick. And the testes.